Hello there, senior high school students! Welcome back! This video is for senior high school general mathematics for grade 11. Gentle reminders! Do not forget your paper and pen to write your solutions later on. And remember, you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. So are you ready? Let's start! This video presentation is for the first quarter, module 1 of the subject General Mathematics for grade 11. The topic is Real Life Functions. To be specific, this is for the second lesson entitled Evaluation of Functions. What you need to know. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to substitute values in a function and evaluate a function. What's in? Now before we dig deeper about evaluation of functions, Let's recall significant points about our first lesson. That's about functions. Now, function can be related to the picture that you see on the screen. What is it? That is right. This is a machine. This is a function machine. Why? A function is like a machine that relates this which is your input. In this example, that's the strawberry. It relates the input to this. This is the output. In this example, from strawberry, the output is now the ice cream popsicle or the ice pop. That is our function machine from the input relating it to our output. Because remember, a function is a special type of relation. Now what's inside this machine for us to understand why our input has been changed into our output? Let's get inside. Because inside our function machine, there's a rule. So every time our input gets in, inside the machine, it follows a rule that leads to our results or our outputs. I repeat, our input gets in, follows the rule, and then gets out as an output. Remember that. Remember our function machine to recall the meaning of functions. So how do we write and read functions? Let's have this. You can write it using this function notation. And you can read it as this. If this is f of x is equal to the given. Again, that is f of x is equal to the given. Okay? So another way of writing that is we can also use g of x, h of x, and other letters. Traditionally, functions are referred to by single letter names like the one shown on the screen. However, you can also use any letter or letters to name a function. So let's have an example. We have here this function. You read it as f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, right? One more time, that's f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Now you can rewrite that in this form. That is, y is equal to 2x plus 1. Notice, f of x and y. I mentioned that you can rewrite this, right? Meaning, f of x, you can rewrite it as y. f of x notation is another way of representing the y value in the function which means these two are considered as equivalent notations. So they mean the same thing. Now let's go back. f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Here, x stands for the input, similar to the input in our function machine. And this time, this would be our output, 2x plus 1. What's new? 
How to evaluate functions? Let's have this. Let's evaluate this given function. The function is f of x is equal to 3x plus 4 if x is equal to 2. I repeat, you are going to evaluate this function f of x is equal to 3x plus 4 if the value of your x is equal to 2. Another way of presenting the question if you're asked to evaluate a certain function is like this. Find f of 2 if f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. So if you encounter this question or this statement, it means the same thing with the previous statement. So here, it means the same thing. Why? f of 2 means that the x value would be equal to 2, which is similar to this right here. x is equal to 2. So I repeat, this is another way of presenting this. Alright, so how do we evaluate this function? Let's see the steps. Step 1, copy the given. So the given function is 3x plus 4. So we'll copy that. So we have here f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. That's step 1. Step 2. Replace x with 2. So we have now this one. We substitute the values of x, which is 2, in the given equation. So we now have f of 2, right here, is equal to 3 times 2 plus 4. Next, third step, perform the indicated operations. So that means we will multiply 3 and 2 on the right side of the equation. So we will copy first f of 2 is equal to 3 multiplied to 2. The product is 6. Then copy plus 4. So we have here 6 plus 4. Now, as we move on to the next step, we need to have here still performing the indicated operation, which is now addition. So we will add 6 and 4. The result is, that is right, 10. So the final answer here is, f of 2 is equal to 10. So that's how we evaluate this function. Take note if the value of x is 2. Do you understand? Now let's have another example. How about this? Evaluate the given function. g of x is equal to 1 minus x plus x squared when x is equal to 3. The choices are as follows. g of 3 is equal to negative 11. g of 3 is equal to negative 7. g of 3 is equal to 7. g of 3 is equal to 11. Now you may pause this video and answer the question. You may do it now. Now let's check your answer. The answer is G of 3 is equal to 7. Now if you got the right answer, you need to congratulate yourself for doing a job well done. Great job. So the answer there is 7. Why is the answer 7? Or how did we come up with that? So this is now the solution. So from the given function, when x is equal to 3, we copy the given. So that will be this. After that, we replace or substitute x with the value of 3. So as you can see, all the x in the given function is now being replaced with 3. So it's now g of 3 is equal to 1 minus 3 plus 3 squared. Step 3, we'll perform the indicated operations. So that will now be like this. We will copy here g of 3 is equal to, we will copy 1, copy minus 3, then we will square here 3. So 3 squared will give you 9. So to get the answer, yes, we need to perform the operations here. So we have 1 minus 3 plus 9 will give you a 7. So the answer for that is g of 3 is equal to 7. Well done. Now how about this? Evaluate the given function. 
Evaluate h of x is equal to x squared plus 2 for x is equal to negative 3. Now, on the screen, you have two solutions that is now labeled as A and solution B. I'll give you time. You may pause this video, identify which of the given solution is the right one. You may pause this video and take your time. Were you able to get it? Let's check. The correct answer here is letter, letter B. That is right. Why is that? Observe this part of the solution. What makes A different compared to B? Or what makes B different compared to A? That would be this, with the presence of a parenthesis. It is indeed a simple yet a powerful symbol in mathematics that can make a big difference. Why? Now let's compare and let's focus on solution letter A. X squared right here. You have, yes, from x squared right here, you will substitute negative 3 to x. That's why in the second line, you have this. Negative 3 squared. Remember, the value of your x, going back here, the value of your x is being squared. And the value of your x is negative 3. So here, it means that you are squaring 3 without the negative sign. So it's negative than the square of 3. That's why it will give you the answer of negative 9. But looking at the solution in letter B, let's focus on that right here. Okay. So you have there negative 3 enclosed in a parenthesis squared. It means that the whole value, the negative 3 value, is being squared. So it means you have negative 3 multiplied to negative 3. That's why the result is positive 9. So that makes it different. You have your negative 9 in solution A and positive 9 in solution B. I hope that's clear. So right here. So if you have negative 9 plus 2, it will lead to a different answer compared to a 9 plus 2 will give you 11. So the correct answer here is 11. Do not forget, enclosed your given value of x in a parenthesis to avoid mistakes like this, like in letter A. Again, the correct answer is letter B. I hope that's clear now. Let's move on. What's more? Now it's your turn. I prepared here a 10-item assessment for you to work on, for you to check if you fully understand our lesson number 2. So I have here the directions. Allow me to read. Evaluate the following functions. So say for example, let's focus on number 1. f of x is equal to 2 plus x minus x squared. Find f of 2. Remember, if you'll see this symbol, f of 2, it means that you are going to evaluate the given function at x is equal to 2. Do you understand? So this time, you can pause the video and copy the given in your mathematics notebook, or you can have a screenshot of this and answer it on your available time. What you need to remember... The classical way of writing a function is in this form. f of x is equal to the given. You can also write it in g of x, h of x, or any other letter or letters. Second, keep in mind that to evaluate a function is to replace or substitute its variables with a given number of expressions. And finally, it is recommended putting the substituted values inside the parentheses so you don't make any mistakes. Well, that's it. We are done with our second lesson. Good job for today and keep it up as we continue with our next lesson. See you then.